Na, sziasztok időre a Devil Last of Tak. Folytatjuk a Fable Lost Chapter-t. Az előző részben sikerült kiszabadulnom a pokol börtönből, ahol kínoztak azok a gonosz börtönőrök, de már halára basztom mindet. Úgyhogy innét folytathatjuk is. És addig vigyek, amíg... Amíg csomagok között is nem végéztem. Nézd fel, nem érek a fináléhoz. Az első fináléhoz. Úgy vélem, hogy készítjük a Bandit Spa Extraction. Okay, let's see. My name is Tanya. I'm a deep power bandit intelligence operative. Otto, one of our agents, is secretly in place with the Trevi group. But the net is closing in around him. It's your job to get him out. Follow me. My bandit controllers will explain more. Boss, give me a round of it. Otto is undercover in the convoy. He's already mixed some goods. We need to get our man out before the convoy gets there. You'll recognize him easy enough. He's the one with the big mustache. Find him, attract his attention, or get him to follow you. Then you need to head back to Barrowstone North with him. Tell him to meet you there. We'll help you out, but we're not stupid. It'll cost you 100 gold to hire any one of us. Any swag that's dropped along the way is yours. Yeah, the convoy's getting away! A következő döntés azt mondom, hogy kinyírom ezeket a szőrőket. Szép bassza, szép bassza! Okay, let's meet again. 
Tam, a to ten kiet Mino Nidin. The convoy is leaving the farmhouse and the <coughs> oh, We've got to spring Otto. I demand you stop. <coughs> Dann tut's gut schon. Autos with the traders. Get moving. Push, 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 Mindegy, szép baszom. Mi is kell jelen. Oké. Minden így évben maradt a kutyitje, de még vissza kell tartani őket. És évben kell tartani, amíg visszaködöm a évre a kereskedőt. Do I know you? What do you do? No time to lose. Oh, you must have been in danger. Come on, see me for who I am today. Oh, I'm in this. It's not that bad. I knew the old maids wouldn't let me down. Jaj, nem úgy kartam visszamenni. Jó, megvédünk. Nick, no. I 
Fest. So. Und um Arasa. Ja, kiírtuk ezeket az örüket is most már. Csak egy nehéz akadály maradt hátra. Csak hagyjatok életben. Csak egy gyakorlán, de nem szóltam el. Mit csinálsz? Csici! Nem volt szóval? Gyeci örök. Ezek sosem folynak el. Már csak egy gyak... Már csak hárma vannak. Pusztítsuk el őket. Thanks for getting me out, mate. We stole some valuable information and swag from them lot. Here, have this as your share of the profit. Okay. Yo, cool must. Love you, kid. 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 Watch out for this one. Nem vagy ide. De nem tudom, hogy mennyi, majd visszatérünk még később. Mit mondta? Ha? Kiraboltam. Nem kell ezt. Aki jó faszít ha. Nem lehet. Nem lehet. Nem lehet őket. Nem tud. 
Me puto. Jo, mám kolopunk. No. Kolopunk je idiot. Akkor ne raboljunk. Jó van, ha már így túlestünk, hát akkor itt az idő. Nincs semmi. Minden kirabolg. Sit Csak ide, hogy be ezt a pofátokat? De hogy ne, minden megtehetek, amit csak okol. Az mindenki szét, meg szét, mindenki. Kom, kapjátok be előre, mindjárt kapjátok be. Miért nem? Hogy a tőzik életben valaki így? No, yeah, Yeah. 
I can take it. Ah, on touche à ta place. C'est toi, on touche à ta place. J'ai été gâté. Hein? Mi non è troppo fabbra Ez a pofona. Ennyi ettük volna ezeknek. Mit beezőt? Ezt a szemét! De nem adhatsz pancokat. Gól, az vagy jók, nekem minden szabad. Szép most azok. Na. Nem tudtok hallani ti a pofozó bajnokkal. Pofozo game, pojď, 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 pofozo game, pofozo game, pojď, 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 pofozo. Nesse, nesse, nesse. Kabel, kabel. Pofuzo gay, pojď, pofuzo gay, pojď, pofuzo gay, pojď, pofuzo gay, pojď, pofuzo gay, pojď. Oh, 
Na, ez nekem nagyon tetszik. Nincs obályák szitni. Na, vége szétvertem. Nagyon jó, a gofózkás, csak szét, mert szét. Jaj, nem áll, ezt mindig visszajönnek. Nem hagyok, ha nem hagyom abba soha. Egy jó a bőrt szint, hogy? Ez... Ivádom Ja, a védék közösség mi is de még csak ott, ott válkozik. Sit here, sit here, sit here. Ezra. Ha ha ha, the loser went to God backstage. Ezra, what's wrong with you, man? Did 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 did. That's <laughs> cool, right? It's sick. Look at that buffalo back in. Just look at this thing. I need buffalo. Yes, yes. I can take it. Oh, I got it.
Who's next? You get to me, that's it. <laughs> so far, my name is Sammy Chatten. When the game goes up, so say yes. Na, mint reggel lesz, ha újra próbálkozom. Kohal meg! Pofon kaptak már, ezt már kell ezem unni. Tak je to sama druhá. Jó, már akkor most várok. Ez meg ilyen vagyok, gonosz. Teljesen. About that book I asked you for earlier. Again, again, go on to Tomogon. I'm sure we can put this to good use. Today, we'll be studying Volume One of the Creatures of Albion. Now, who here knows what screamers are? I bet you've never heard one, though, have you? That's because they stay away from the towns. But out in the countryside, it's a rather different story. And you can sometimes hear them crying out in the night. Their scream can pierce even the bravest of men's hearts. 
hearing it will not just chill you to the bone, but sap your energy too. According to the sage Richard Phillips, they feed upon the life force of men, sucking out their souls. Either way, if you ever see one, you'll soon end up like them, screaming. Ah, hello again. Have you found any interesting reading material? What's this? Okay. The pale balverine? I hope it doesn't give them nightmares. Heroes, you go on. Thank you, Hero. I'm sure we can put this to good use. There was once a lord who thought himself good with an arrow. Until people saw that his lies ran right through to his marrow. Many months in the cells of Bargate he spent, plotting his redemption. And once he was free, he hunted all evil without exception. One day he met his match, a foul and mighty Balverine. He did not die from its bite, but his curse was obscene. He became one of those creatures, and pale as snow was his fur, to kill him. Came then a red-caped woman, a true connoisseur. A silver arrow pierced his blackened heart and sent him to his grave. So he died in infamy without the acceptance he craved. Oh, do you have a donation there, hero? Why, this book would be perfect. I've yet to meet a child who isn't fascinated by dragons. Why don't you stay and listen, hero? It's never too late to learn. <coughs> a long time ago, well before the age of the Old Kingdom, the skies of Albion were full of fearsome, majestic dragons. They flew wherever they wished ate the people's livestock, rained down fire on their villages, and distressed their damsels. Then came the kingdom of Archon, and with it heroes who hunted the dragons for sport, almost driving them to extinction. Before long, every home in Albion had dragon scale curtains, dragon claw back scratchers, and dragon foot paperweights. The few remaining dragons fled to the northern wastes, and there they remain to this day. Though they are nowhere near as powerful now as they once were, they still represent a hero. Ah, hello again. Have you found any interesting reading material? Oh, the children are always asking me about the arena. Oh, they'll love this. Why don't you stay and listen, hero? It's never too late to learn. Okay. Uh, how many of you have been to the Witchwood Arena? Ah, but have you ever stopped to look at the statues in the Hall of Heroes? Some of the greatest heroes in Albion's history are celebrated there. Mighty champions who conquered the arena and the people's hearts. In the days of the Old Kingdom, heroes would lead their fans into battles, so they could see their skill and bravery in combat. But all too often, spectators would find themselves torn limb from limb by balverines. Or caught in the backwash of a hero's spell. And so, the arena was built in Witchwood, to give heroes a permanent stage on which to fight their duels without endangering the audience. Creatures are brought there from all over Albion for heroes to face, and the battles get more elaborate with every year that passes. But one rule remains unchanged. Should either hero wish it, the final battle between them can be fought to the death. <laughs> ah, 
Hello again. Have you found any interesting reading material? Ah, the final volume of the great creatures of Albion. <laughs> Should give the little ones a good scare. Thank you, hero. I'm sure we can put this to good use. Uh, thanks to this kind hero, today's lesson is from volume three of the creatures of Albion. If trolls rule the land, and dragons the skies, then the mighty Kraken are masters of the sea. A few men have ever seen a Kraken, fewer still have lived to tell the tale. Since before the times of the Old Kingdom, these terrifying creatures have lurked in the seas that surround Albion. Their tentacles can grow to be over a hundred feet long and are strong enough to crush a ship like kindling. A brave sailor once drove away a kraken by hacking off one of those gargantuan tentacles. But to kill one of the beasts, oh, that would truly be a heroic task. <coughs> ah, hello again. Have you found any interesting reading material? Ah. The Trials of Arkham, a classic tale. Arkham is a open and Ah, it lifts one's spirits to see a hero take such a keen interest in education. Once upon a time, in a village by the sea, lived a boy called Arkham with his family. Peaceful were their lives for many a year, till one day, a band of savages did appear, destroyed that peaceful village by the sea, and killed the poor boy's family. I'm ready to get up in the water. Arkan himself found no trace, for the boy had hid in quite a safe place. And though he wished to help in his heart, he stayed hidden till the savages did depart. Then he emerged to find his whole family killed, and the streets of the village with corpses filled. Oh, dear me, this really is the most unoriginal tosh. Okay, then, I guess. You're here. The bandit gang you're looking for have taken hostages. They ran into Greatwood. Maybe you can catch them. Good luck. I'll wait here and send more help if I can. Okay. We've heard there's a hero after us, and we'll never get the ransom for these two if he catches us. We'd better scarper. Let's split up. Bob, you head off to Fisher Creek with that one. Me and Rab will head towards Greatwood Lake with the other. We'll leave a few lads to take care of him. Let's go. Let's 
scared of you, hero. Leader, he's way too smart for you. But you won't get past us. Go ahead, Dan. Do it, you old chelsea. For me and my gang. No, you No, she didn't have to put you in it. Yes. You do it. Oh, boss, it's too good to eat. I'll not spare you. No, it's all good. I knew he. Thank you for rescuing me, hero. But the bandit leader and his deputy still have my sister. I overheard the bandits say they were taking her through Greatwood Lake. Hit that way to catch them. I'm going back to Bowerstone where it's safe. <laughs> I'm impressed, hero. For my leader has another hostage somewhere in Greatwood Lake. Not that you'll defeat me. Watch this. Mindez a múlik. Remélem ezt követ kajod. Fucker, 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 fucker. Right, nothing to lose. Here I come. Hero, you're the best. You saved us all. <laughs> Amazing. Thanks again, Hero. I'm off to Bowerstone now to find my relatives. I hope they're safely home in one piece. Please accept this reward. Okay. You have reached legendary status. You get a legend, I see. Is the barrel feels that magic? Oh, 
Okay. Oh, I'm going to go take the dark hole, please. The gate will only open when its hunger for undead souls is sated. Tudi ma, hát miért nem dolgolják meg? Tehát azért pontunk ez. Most fejszik is ezt a korlátot. The book. Don't forget the book. Okay, back.
I have a quest card from your mother. Come to the mountain and speak to me. Then most. Most várok. Van így én, még mindjárt jön a tanárbá. Indulás. Have a donation there, hero? Oh, look! How to make friends. Just the thing to teach the children some manners. Okay. Why don't you stay and listen, hero? It's never too late to learn. Today's lesson will be on how to make friends. This fine hero has just given us a good example of how to make friends by donating this book to the school. Helping people out and giving presents are both good ways to make friends. Can anybody tell me another way to make friends? Sir! Sir! Yes? Tell them you'll smash their teeth in if they won't be friends <laughs> No, Billy. Threatening people is not really a good way to make friends with them. I think we need to work on this some more. You have done our school such a great service. I don't know if we can ever adequately repay you. I do have a little something and... Well, I know it's not much, but the children think you'll love it. We used it in our production of The Major's Apprentice. But it was a little large for our particular actors. Any books for us today, Hero? Well, there's The Repentant Alchemist, but uh, I'm not sure it's really suitable reading for children. <laughs> All right, then. I'll give it a try. Five and twenty years have I tended this inn, not knowing my wife was living in sin. For while I served the townsfolk ale by day, at night my wife served them in another way. But soon they'll regret leading her astray. When next they sip my ale, it will be their lives that pay. He who hath slept with my love will die at its taste. Then I shall see if any among them can call themselves chaste. Uh, thank you, Billy. I think that's enough for today. <laughs> hmm, do you have a donation there, hero? Oh my, the Windbreaker rule book. Avo alone knows what would happen if the children got hold of this. <laughs> cool, my All right, then. I'll give it a try. Today, we will be reading from the Windbreaker Rule Book. Perhaps the gentleman who gave us this book could demonstrate the uh, benefits of its teachings himself. 
<laughs> I see. Well, that was most edifying. But I really don't. <laughs> Something must have crawled up inside him and died. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> you don't know that the one on the clock! Language in front of the children! <laughs> and, uh, I knew this was a mistake. Right, this is a mistake. Now, who's Sha? Ah, hello again. Have you found any interesting reading material? What's that you have there? <laughs> the ugly guide? Yes, the Ronda Sagro for a message. This snotty lot needs no help in that area. Uh, uh, don't tell their parents I said that. All right then. I'll give it a try. Today's lesson is from the ugly guide, which this hero has donated to our school. For some reason? No. What do you think makes a person look ugly? Having stupid hair. That's right. Certain haircuts can make a person less attractive, as can some forms of facial hair, especially on a woman. Any other ideas? Eating too much. Very good. That's why everybody in Albion has such a perfect waistline. From the greatest hero to the lowliest beggar. Except for Jenna from Orchard Farm, of course. She used to be but a slip of a girl, but now... Huh, that woman certainly likes her cider. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, that concludes our lesson for today. <laughs> Ah, I hello again. Have you found any interesting reading material? I suppose you are not a bad person might come in useful one day. I really hope the children won't need its advice, though. Okay. All right, then. I'll give it a try. Today, we will be looking at You Are Not a Bad Person. It seems this hero has studied the book in great depths already. But perhaps one of you can tell me how you can make yourself less scary. Wear a pretty dress. That's right. A person's clothes say a lot about them. And wandering around town dressed in dark leather or chainmail can frighten people. Any other ideas? Don't wear anything at all. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, that might make you look more silly than scary. I think we'll have to check. Men running around naked inspire much confidence. Well, maybe I'll just try and find it. The book has to say on this matter. Oh, do you have a donation there, hero? The raising of Oakvale is a fascinating topic, but this book may be a little graphic for children their age, don't you think? Oakvale age. Mm, I suppose it can't do any harm. That's okay, I'm on that lopper. Today we'll be reading from the Oakvale Raid. Some of you may find what you're about to hear disturbing. I was trying to mend my teddy bear Rosie. When the bandits attacked, my brother and another horrible boy had ripped her stuffing out. I didn't know then I would never see them again. It was the screaming that told me they were coming, and I hid under an old cart. From there, I saw the bandits kill all my friends and burn everything I called home. I wanted to help them. But I was so scared, I couldn't move. Uh, maybe we should finish this book some other time. In ten, uh, fifteen years, perhaps? And yikes. Yeah, there
Még próbálunk ki még egy apróságot. Okay. Great, I could use the work when you're done with Vai ciò che chiedete. Questo è il nostro ente. Che in te ora ma era trasnabo. Time and acquired quest completed trophy. That's how we then would drive. We top us that one session. Százegyenhét, öt és kicsa nevény bontát nyíltam ki. Kicsa tíz hobbitot, a százhuszonkettő, a adet. Na, ez aztán szuper. Csökkent csak mi volt, hogy is kinyílak. Kost legyen. Tehát egy kis tizit is, ilyen kamára ne kell ötlet. Remélem, hogy sikerül. New followers, good. Your soul follower shall be the chosen one. The die is cast. The means of sacrifice has been determined. I think this disciple would benefit most from Scorm's insect infestation. The god of magic. I don't eat you. Eat your teeth, man. That pittance is of little use. 
do try harder next time. Ah, it's a gate to go, so I did. A scorn bow, what a corner makes it. Is. Még van idő megszerzni a Gnothol Grayben, amit szintén nem szerztem meg. Kósz legyen! Nincs semmi. Ez az a nyárokva. Nincsen. Jó van. Talán húkkózt én itt ma lesz. Vannak itt emberek egyáltalán? Nothing. Puta pichada, puta sim, basta. Cura, cura. Whoops, I'm going to need 
to have to call the guards if you don't go. Hey, did you get your ball? <laughs> oh dear. Going to... Again, I'm going to do a potion. Whoops. Suck my foot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> talks, huh? I can't believe that. There he is. Uh, I didn't think you were a creep. <laughs> 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 There is an important quest card revealed for you. Okay. Surround spell. Jó, mert ezt kipróbálni. Jól van. Tak když jsi sám druhýš, měj jít do ostrovu. Tak když jsi sám druhýš. Még néhány tanulmá is befejeztem. Egyenlőre. Thank <laughs> you. 
books for us today, hero? Ah, the Belverine Slayer. Oh, my father used to read Scarlet Robes and Vengeance yeah, every say. night. <laughs> ah, it lifts one's spirits to see a hero take such a keen interest in education. Belverines are the fiercest creatures in Albion. But there was once a brave young girl for whom they held no fear. One day, a beast attacked Knothole Glade, where she lived. The villagers all ran away, until she alone stood to face it. The creature was twice her size, and she fought its teeth and claws oh, on yeah, only with a speak. By the time the warriors arrived, the beast lay dead at the girl's feet, and her dress was soaked with its blood. From that day forth, she was known to all as Scarlet Robe. As she grew older, she became a great hero, driving the evil Balverines from much of Albion and competing in the Witchwood Arena. Yay! See? Any books for us today, hero? What's this? Eyes of a killer? Yes, well, uh, strictly speaking, we try not to raise any murderers in our school. <laughs> you can't do any harm. Ah, I really hope none of you follow the teachings of this book, uh, but uh, nevertheless, uh, you should learn to recognize the signs of evil. There are many ways a person can instill fear in others, such as covering one's body in tattoos and wearing dark clothes. But a truly scary person is able to express his evilness through actions alone. Let's see how this works. A hero. Would you regale us with an evil sneer, perhaps? Yeah. Oh, uh, yes, <laughs> very effective. And uh, now, uh, according to this book, uh, you can also make yourself scary by performing terrible crimes, such as uh, killing innocents. Uh, but um, I, I, I think we'll leave that chapter for uh, another day. Oh. <laughs> now then, class, let's all say thank you to the nice hero. Any books for us today, hero? I'm sure the tale of Twin Blade is quite Twin Blade interesting. Uh, but I'm not sure a bandit is a good role model for other pupils, though. All right then, I'll give it a try. Twin Blade was once a great hero, a giant of a man. His swords were feared throughout Albion, but. At the height of his fame, he abandoned the guild, deciding he had no need to earn gold through quests. He could simply take it. And so, he left for the woods and became a bandit. And over the years, he united the feuding bandit clans until he became their king. He built a vast fortified camp hidden near Oakvale and plundered the passing traders as he desired. He was as renowned and feared as he ever was, and now had no guild constraints to hold him back. Sir, what happened to Twin Blade? The hero you see before you killed him in a duel. Oh, well, the well, once well. mighty bandit begged for his life, but no mercy was shown. <laughs> Found any interesting reading material? Scorm's teeth. That's the Guild of Zeros. I thought your guild had every copy of the book banned, <laughs> along with its author. Well, <laughs> if you think that's wise, hero. The Journal of Bloody Nose. No, Zero no, in no, training. No, Day 14. No, this week, we've been developing no, our stealth skills by playing hide-and-seek. 
Knowing how to run and hide from your enemies is an important skill for any Zero, says Days. He seems to be a master of the art. It took us all day to find him after he teleported away. Eventually, we heard his cries and found him wedged inside a hollow tree in the Academy woods. He wasn't at all happy that it took us so long to find him, but he decided to test our hiding skills next. We must be really good at it, because we've been out here in the woods for two days now, and he still hasn't found us. Hmm, do you have a donation there, Hero? Oh, what's this? The sock method? Uh, yes, uh, well, uh, perhaps when they're uh, a little older, don't you think? Maybe <laughs> uh, I suppose it can't do any harm. Ah, let's turn to the sock method and see how we can make you sexier in ten days. Yay! Ah. It looks like this hero still needs a little practice. Uh, but perhaps he could demonstrate something simple? Come on! <laughs> oh my! That's quite enough of that, hero! And that brings today's lesson to a close. Definitely. <laughs> Do you have a donation there, Hero? The Trigonist. Uh, don't you think my students are a little too young to learn about castration? Okay, I'm going to wait for them. But I'm not going to be able to do that. Jó van, srácok! Ha tetszett, iratkozzatok el a csatornán, lájkoljátok a Facebookon és kövessetek Twitteren. És innen folytatjuk. Tehát már a végeztem. És sziasztok legközelebb!